Okay, guys, we're back with part two. So we pretty much got this watch squared away. Um, I got one tiny situation I will address. The movement is a little loose, like Naked Watch Baker did suggest. So, uh, yeah, we're going to address that. That's going to be trial and error on my part, trying to find something here on my desk that's going to work. I'll update you in comments uh, what that was. I know Naked Watchmaker used a, uh, a, a plastic uh, movement uh, ring. The issue is on mine, it didn't look like it was uh, wide enough for a movement ring. It's very, very, very uh, minuscule on this one anyway. But in either which case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish it up. And we're just going to put a strap on it. Now, like I suggested, be careful when you put your strap on. Make sure that slit is on the inside. I almost just put it on the outside, didn't I? So, yeah, I am going to do that. Put a strap onto it. There we go. Now, I am not going to be using my optics. Well, you know what? I am too. I'm not going to be that big of a fool. Let's go ahead and let's put my optics on. That is on. Now I could use some Loctite on this if I wanted to, and I probably will later, but just for all intended purposes of finishing this video, we'll go ahead and just forego the Loctite. But, you know, like I said, I probably will. Okay, make sure the slit is on the inside. Make sure the pin goes in the largest hole that you see. The smallest hole is where the threads are. Trying to do this left handed, it sucks. There we go. Once you feel the click of it going into the hole on the other side, you're home free. And there is my version of the instructional video by Naked Watchmaker. She is together. So let's go ahead and let's take the uh, Rolex mill gloss off. Let's put this on. Give me just one minute, folks. Let's see how this feels. There we go. Feels pretty good. All right, guys. Well, this is Alabama Deep. Thank you for watching, staying into the conclusion of the video. Um, I will figure out... Uh, what I can put in between such that such a small uh, gap between the movement and the case. Uh, I know it probably needs something. It's very, very minute, though. So I don't see it as an urgent thing on this one. Not if it's that close together. Um, I'll try a few 
uh, pieces here and there to see what I can get wedged in there. Um, I do have a couple ideas of what I'm going to use for that. And that is I have some rubber gaskets that were really just way too big to use on anything. Um, I, I got these right here. I may use a little bit of this and cut it around and wedge it in there and it'll be a rubber shock protection type deal. I don't know. We'll try that. Um, if that doesn't work, then I will try something a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, you know, and I have a, this, what came with the movement, you know, I don't think that's going to work because it didn't work for the naked watchmaker, but I will figure that out in a little while. Um, but this is my finished, uh, homage, uh, watch. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, Mr. Naked Watchmaker, please comment below. Let me know if you saw my video. All right, guys. Peace. I'm out.